Hello friends, hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel Nova Tech Videos and this is the series of Windows Server 2022 and today we are going to discuss about UPN user principal names in Active Directory. So let's understand what are UPNs and why we need it. To understand in a better way I have collected some notes about UPN. So we will understand here what are the UPNs and why do we need them in Active Directory. So as we know UPN stands for user principal name. It is a friendly name that is used to log in to an Active Directory domain. The UPN takes the form of an email address style username followed by an at the rate symbol and the domain name for example if the domain name is example.com and the users a users upn is john at the rate example.com the user can log in using john at example.com instead of tra traditional domain name then username format so this point we will talk more about it and how we can use the multiple logon types using our upns here are some upns uh, important points why we need the upns in active directory so we'll discuss these points so first the consideration for UPNs in Active Directory is user friendly logons. UPNs provide a more user friendly login format compared to traditional one like domain name and then username. Users find it easier to remember and use their email like UPNs. So I am, if you noticed, I am frequently telling as email, but these are not the email address in actual. The another region, that is domain name flexibility. So UPNs allow organizations to use different domains, domains name for user logins than their actual Active Directory domain names. This flexibility is especially useful in the scenario where multiple domains and forests are involved or when organizations undergo domain name changes. So today if we are using abc.com domain and tomorrow if there is any merger or if there is any subdivision of the domain. So at those points to make it more specific names about the domains. So the third one and that is consolidation and migration. So when organizations consolidate multiple domain or forest or migrate from one domain to another, UPNs help maintain consistent user login identities. User can continue to log on log in with their familiar UPNs even after domain restructuring. The fourth point is cross forest trust. So if we are creating the trust, a UPN play, a UPN can play an important role in that. So the, do, the UPNs will be created automatically when we build any trust. So that can be also beneficial in authentication also if we have any applications to access that applications UPN can play an important role there as well. The fourth one that is important cloud integrations so UPNs play a crucial role in integrating Active Directory with cloud services such as Microsoft 365. Users can use their UPNs to access cloud-based resources and services seamlessly. 
so let me tell you one example here so suppose like if we have a domain and that is abc.com and this domain is already registered worldwide so we cannot use our domain abc.com to utilize the cloud services so in this case upn can play an important role so what we can do here we can create a upn suffix like a b c d dot com that is not already verified or registered on cloud and while the users use this domain as a primary domain to authenticate or use any applications which are hosted on 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 cloud instead using abc.com so we can create a upn suffix in this case and the last one that is uh, the upn can be created for application compatibility so many modern uh, applications and the service support upns for user authentication using upns ensure compatibility with each applications and allow users to access the resources without domain specific dependencies overall upns provide a flexible and user friendly mechanism for user authentication in active directory and facilitating seamless access to resources across domains forest and integrated cloud services so these are the terms where we can use the upns but let's let's understand more in deep what are the upns so i have a domain controller so this is my domain nuatech.com let's log on to the domain controller and understand more about uh, the upns as you see no attack videos this is my domain and if i right click on this and go to find and here we will see user contact and groups and if we drop down this list so these are domains i have so this is trust domain and this is my original domain so if i open any user like roach and if go to account so this is the username and at the rate nua hyphen tag videos dot com so this entire format roach at nua tag videos dot com so this is called a upn the points we discussed earlier the six point these points so in those cases we can create multiple uh, upn suffix and use them to integrate our cloud services application services etc etc as of now i can see only one but for demonstration we will create some more as well so let's try using it how we can use our upns to log on to the machines so i have one client machine here as you see this is the native method or the old method no attack iphone then your user id then you have to give the password but alternatively what we can do if we have uh, the upns available so our user id at the rate and then our nuva track videos dot com and then password this is my domain and we can log in this way as well
let's take uh, one more example uh, to use the UPNs. If I have one domain that is abc.com and I have one more subdomain and one more subdomains let's name it this is abc.com and then this is the subdomain so let's call it as b.abc.com and this one is c dot abc c dot b dot abc dot com and now the scenario is if user i have another domain like this is bcd dot com let's say dot com okay so and now i am creating a test between this one and c dot b dot abc dot com and this is the child domain for abc dot dot com so instead of using this what i can do i can create a upn suffix so for users and map it to the users who want to log on to this domain or utilize these resources. So let's say if I'm creating a name like with the application raw, this is my application raw.com. I can add a suffix and do the mapping for this. So this way user will use this UPN instead of this one but ultimately the mapping is happening from raw.com to c.b.abc.com domain so that a user can easily memorize it and use it for their resource accessibility. So this is all about the UPNs user principal name in the next video we will create some upn suffix and use them to access the resources so that's it in this video thanks for watching